said, nope, this channel was both of ours and we gonna split the money. Man, look at this video right here. Yeah. I gotta put this right here. Man, if, Ten reasons why black women won't submit. This video is about the ten reasons. And actually, I call it ten reasons why black women always get their foot up their ass by the white woman. Cause we do the opposite, non-working shit. How's it working for you? It's not working for you. It's not working for you. You're dying alone with dildos in your hands, becoming dykes. And you're putting all your money into a community in which the Becky there, you're under her command. You do what she says. And your money is going to her to keep her community in, uh, in top standing. You're too stupid to know it. That's why nobody respects black women and black men. But especially black women, because they notice this tiny defect that you are ready to betray your own kind for selfish needs. And they knew that. When they counted Africans, especially West Africans, they said, these people are greedy. And we are going to take advantage of that. And a white woman examined a black woman and said, you know some these women are arrogant like men. So we're gonna take advantage. It's written down. They say we're gonna take advantage of it. So that's why they call you strong, independent, black girl magic, black women are for adults, all that shit. Because they know it is like to nourish your ego, just like the serpent in the garden. When the serpent told Eve, simple-minded Eve with her tiny brain, that she could become God, that was it. And still the same attitude persists. You know, what they say, the, the sick, the, the, we call it, uh, you know, the person's insane, they keep doing the same stupid shit over and over again. And think they're gonna get a different results? Black bitches. I mean, what do they say? Doctor, heal thyself. And the whole world is looking at it. They see you coming to these other countries, just neglecting your own, and they see the other people who divest. What I said before is, they send resources back to their community to build their community. I had an asshole come up to me and say, he said, well, Asian men and Filipino men are on the Lord or, or the Lord or Torah Paul. Well, dude, not everything's uh, big dig miracles. At least they got the Philippines. What do you got? Everything else you got is in shambles. They're slowly building the Philippines. What money they're getting from the diet? From the people working abroad, even the women, even their women, they, they all that majority of my dad vested with the Australians over there. Guess what? They're sending their money back home to build their community. They're not living off of their uh, man's white man's or white woman's castle. They want to be pets. But since uh, slavery and all that shit, black people are taught to just be pets, like stray dogs, looking for masters. And this is why your things is fucked up. Becky keeps throwing you off bounds. I mean, it is diabolical. It is cloak and dagger. And I love every moment of it. I love puzzles like that. But black women can't solve puzzles like that. They used to direct threats, like I said. Direct insults or direct assaults. Anything cloak and dagger is under their radar. They can't detect it because they never had to deal with that shit before living in places like Lower West Africa and Lower East Africa. They never had to deal with the Europeans or the outside world until it was too late. And their brains, their little gray matters, it's not adapted to that. 
And that's the truth. And you can see the example right now. Speaking of punk asses, you got these niggas in the UK talking shit and they're hiding like bitches. I mean, us over here, we never did that shit. We be fighting back. Those over there hiding, hoping everything will calm down. What if it doesn't calm down? It may be a day when it doesn't calm down. You got to get your bitch asses out. You guys talk a lot of shit about us, but at least we fight back. And we did it every time. Only way they could get anything over, they had to use military. They're not even using military. Only. These are white men with bare fists and melee weapons. And you hide in your damn apartments with your bug-eyed West African eyes all scared and shit. I got no respect for you UK God brothers. Except for Tricky. But the rest of you, man, you're a disgrace.